This is a problem from the math admission test of Oxford University. So this is problem number one. And we have to find the number of solution for this equation. Okay, so the question doesn't ask us to find the specific solution. It only asks for the number of solution. So the first thing that we want to try is maybe by subtracting both sides by 3000 to get to get x cubed minus 300x minus 3000 equals 0. If you try to factor this, it will be very difficult. So do not factor this. We will find another way. So my solution is the idea is we sketch the graph of fx equals to the left hand side that is x cubed minus 300x minus 3000 and and then we look four points where f is equal zero okay so we will do it here we write again the function f f is equal to x cubed minus 300x minus 3000 and then the first derivative f prime is 3 times x squared minus 300 so we see here that f prime is equal to 0 when when x is equal to plus or minus 10 And now we draw the number line here. And this is the point. X equals 10 and X equals minus 10. And when X is bigger than 10, the F prime is positive. It is easy to check that the value of f prime will always be positive and when x is between minus 10 and 10 f prime will be negative and when x is less than minus 10 f prime will be positive so the function is increasing for x less than minus 10 and then after that it will decreasing for x between minus 10 and 10 and then for x bigger than 10, it will keep on increasing. And as we see here, when x is equal to minus 10, just before minus 10, the function is increasing, and just after minus 10, the function is decreasing. So this will be maximum value because it is a peak or maximum value. And then on the other hand, when x is equal to 10, before 10 it is decreasing and just after 10 it will increasing. So this will be a valley or a minimum value. Now we must check the value of f at both points here. So when f so f of minus 10 we just plug in x equals minus 10 to this function f and it is easy to see that 
it is minus 1000 and f of 10 it is also easy to check that it will be minus 5000 so this information is enough for us to sketch the graph of fx i will draw the graph here this will be the x axis right here and this is the y axis y equals f and this is the x axis and this is the x equal 10 and this is x equal minus 10 and f minus 10 is minus 1000 I will put it around here this is minus 1000 and then f10 is minus 5000 so I will put it around here this is minus 5000 now we sketch the curve before x equals minus 10 the function is increasing so it won't be from the above and it will be from the below of this point right so roughly it will look like this from below and then like this and this will be the maximum value at x equals minus 10 and then after minus 10 it will decreasing the function is decreasing so it will decrease keep on decreasing up to x equals 10 and at this point it is a minimum value a valley and then after that it will keep on increasing now will it go pass through the x-axis the answer is yes because the limit of f as x goes to plus infinity is equal to plus infinity because as x goes bigger x cubed minus 300 x minus 3000 will also go bigger so it will go to plus infinity so it will go on increasing and passes through the x-axis and up to infinity so we see here that there will be only one point where f is equal to zero this is the point where f is equal to zero f equals zero means that x cubed minus 300x minus 3000 is equal to zero so the answer is only one solution.